Last month, Comet Atlas shattered Skywatcher's hopes of a brilliant display when it began crumbling. But scientists have spotted a new opportunity to study the rubble. That opportunity comes from the trajectory of the Solar Observatory. A partnership between NASA and the European Space Agency. While the spacecraft was designed to focus on the sun, it turns out that the instruments it carries could also gather valuable information about Comet Atlas's tail in an unprecedented observational opportunity. If Solar Orbiter's instruments detect material from Comet Atlas, it will be the first predicted serendipitous comet tail crossing by an active spacecraft carrying appropriate instrumentation for the detection of cometary material. This is a one in a billion accident, the scientists wrote in a paper exploring the opportunity. Now, astronomers first spotted this icy lump officially dubbed C2019Y4, but now known as Comet Atlas on December 28, 2019. It's called Atlas because it was discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, Atlas. And over the next few months after December 28, 2019, the faint comet brightened extensively sparking hopes that the icy ball might put on a spectacle when it was closest to the sun. However, in April, Comet Atlas started falling apart. And by the end of the month, the comet had fractured into more than a half a dozen pieces. And now we're looking at dozens of pieces photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope. And for sky watchers, the news was a real bummer. Meanwhile, the Solar Orbiter launched on February 9th on a mission to measure highly charged particles called plasma in the atmosphere and to take images of the sun's poles, among other tasks. Right now, the scientists are warming up to the space age encounter. And while Solar Orbiter cruises towards Venus to nudge the probe closer to the sun, a trio of scientists compared the trajectories of the two objects, and they found a tantalizing coincidence. The solar orbiter will pass through the tail of Comet Atlas in late May, early June, literally May 30th, June 1st. They thought to check because the lead author of the new research is also heading up the new ESA mission called Comet Interceptor, which will launch in 2028. This spacecraft would hang around the steady orbit far from Earth, waiting for pristine comets to wander toward the inner solar system for the first time. And when scientists spot a promising comet, the miniature probe will separate from the main spacecraft and zoom over to study the comet up close. Absolute science fiction becomes science reality. That park and wait arrangement is crucial since time is the essence when it comes to new comets. But it turns out that the solar orbiter has mimicked the same arrangement completely by accident. I mean, this is winning the lotto here. Now, the scientists have calculated that on May 31st or June 1st, solar orbiter could cross the outer tail, ion tail of comet Atlas. And this will be this dot here. So the ion tail will be moving through. Here's the position of the comet, and this is the trajectory of the comet in blue, and this is the solar probe, which will pass through that ion tail. So they calculated that on either May 31st or June 1st, the orbiter could cross the outer ion tail of Comet Atlas, where charged particles streaming off the sun's ionized, quote unquote, cometary gas. If the comet is losing enough material at the time, Two instruments on the spacecraft may be able to detect the ions or the magnetic field perturbations from the comet. 
And then on June 6th, Solar orbiters should pass through the dust field left by Comet Atlas about 2.5 weeks prior. Depending on how much dust the comet lost, solar orbiters' instruments may be able to spot that dust slamming into the spacecraft or identify some magnetic field shenanigans causing or called interplanetary field enhancements. If solar orbiter does manage to catch any data from Comet Atlas encounters, the good fortune might represent just the harbinger rapid up close comet observation in space for the first time ever by accident. And that's awesome. So I'll leave you links to the paper. All links will be below.